Yo ho hello, it's me, the Cobbler of Peaches, back again with another video. A few days ago, on the 18th, it was the first year anniversary of the Helping Ha meme. Now, if you've only been in the community for so long, you're probably wondering, what is the Helping Ha meme? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? And I'm glad you asked. Okay, in order to give context for this, I gotta rewind back a year or so. So, VeggieTales Official is putting out all these bland social media posts and they're uploading compilations, often with errors. Like, uh, one of them had at least a minute of a blank screen and, like, complete silence before it finally started. Another one had, like, a flashing red screen. Their quality control, as of now, is not great. So, one example of this is when they uploaded VeggieTales, A Helping Hand, A Lesson in Kindness. Now, originally, it, it was intended as a compilation, but instead it was a 13 second clip that looked something like this. A helping hand, a helping hand, do you need a helping hand? If the job's too big, if you're in a jam, you'll need a helping hand. And you can see it's kind of odd, like, it, why would they upload an entire thing? Like, they had a description, they had a thumbnail, they had everything planned, and it was only a 13 second video. So my buddy Finn posted on a Discord server saying, Hey, there's this weird video on the official VeggieTales YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, that is weird. Um, how about let's just re-upload that one clip, just to make fun of them. And he was like, yo, bet. And so me and him, as well as someone from Blue Dad, I don't want to name names, but if you want if you want to be named, uh, drop drop a comment in the comment section and I'll add you to the description or something. But we were all like, yes, this is a great idea. We need to upload this. So me, Finn, and Blue Dad all uploaded the same clip and we changed the description. That was the only thing we changed at the time. All that changed when Archie, uh, who heads the channel Fate Fix, um, made the first official meme. And from there it spread like wildfire. There's at least 80 memes that people have made. Soon after, um, me, Finn, and Blue Dad and a few people started uploading the clip, the VeggieTales official YouTube channel took down that video. And we didn't know if they would ever upload it again. They did. Um, now it's a full-on compilation uh, with the entire song. So while originally this meme was to make fun of uh, VeggieTales Official's um, lack of quality control, um, it became somewhat of an icon. It, came, it became an, a uniting meme in the community. There were quite a few types of memes that were made. There were re-uploads of the clip itself without any alterations, there were jump scares at the end, musical recreations, there were YTPs, there were crossovers with other memes and source materials, there was even like a horror thing going on for a little bit. As for the state of VeggieTales, if I may rant a little, um, as of now, VeggieTales Official on all of their social media platforms are still posting bland content, posting compilations or doing those 24-7 streams. Um, in December, they had the 12 Shirts of Christmas or whatever promotion that was going on, along with um, selling posters and other things at a discounted price. They abandoned that halfway through. Uh, they had a season two of that ve Very Veggie Silly Stories podcast. That was abandoned too. The Larry Boy movie was recently announced. And if you want to know a little bit more about the situation, uh, go to Kendall's uh, channel, SDA Storyteller, and watch his video on it. it. It provides a lot of good information. But as far as we can tell with DreamWorks, which is the parent company of Big Idea and VeggieTales, with DreamWorks outsourcing their animation um, currently, and with the, like with the Mega Mind movie, um, it's not a good sign that it's gonna be a good thing. Like, it's gonna- apparently it's going to have a theatrical release, but I'm not certain that the quality is going to be theatrically good. I don't know how else to put it. Also, apparently Phil Vischer was not made aware of the movie's existence until someone tweeted at him the article. And not only that, but he name-dropped in his tweets 
that Leslie Farrell was the one who had fired him and Mike, and that there was a lot of tension between Leslie Farrell and a lot of the employees at Big Idea. So there's a lot of drama there. We also can assume that the Larry Boy movie, at least its working title, is Larry Boy Begins in a now-deleted social media post. As you can tell from the way I'm talking about it, um, I'm not very confident about the future of um, the franchise. However, I'm very thankful for what the show, what all the wonderful people behind the show have brought us. I'm very thankful for this community and for all the people that I've become really close friends with over this past year. So even though the franchise is going in a direction that I think we can all agree isn't great for VeggieTales' future, I'm very thankful for the episodes that have been made in the movies that have been made. The songs, the memories, etc. All that jazz. If you're watching this video in the year of our lord 2024, the, none of this is probably new information. Unless you're new to the fandom or you don't know much about VeggieTales history. But hopefully um, in the future it can be almost like a time capsule for you. I didn't mean for this to go from like a, um, like a meme history lesson to a little miniature rant. So um, I feel like the helping hand uh, instant is a microcosm of uh, the state of VeggieTales right now. Yeah, anyways, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop talking and let you enjoy the, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the speed painted piece. Bye-bye.